Onwachiku Kemichiku. I'm a Nigerian from Imo State, Ikeduri Local Government. I'm currently studying electronic engineering in the University of Nigeria and Suka, and I'm in my fourth year. So this is a drone. Um, I built this basically from parts that I assembled together. Um, I started this project on September 2018 thereabouts and I've been working on it simply because um, I care a lot about robotics and this is part of a much big, bigger project in the field of robotics. Since I was a child I've had this passion for building things and creating things and this is an aspect of creativity that tends to still express itself when you get a lot older. So this project now is just a way to express my own form of creativity as per bringing things that I had in mind initially to life. So um, I've worked with wood, I've worked with plastic, I've worked with carbon fiber and I've used these materials to craft different types of drone and test how their performances are in different situations. Currently, to fly a drone in Nigeria, if the drone is above 250 grams, you need to register it with the aviation authorities and that is when you're flying on public property but my own aspect is research so i mainly fly in my own house on private property so currently if i want to expand and start going to do drone delivery systems definitely i'll be working with the federal aviation industry currently here in nigeria for these drones in areas of security now drones are already finding their way into security systems now because normal cameras may not have a complete field of view of the entire area and especially in inspecting areas now that are not accessible, easily accessible by other humans a drone which could get an aerial view of such areas and help to expose threats in those areas Another possible application of my drone is in the area of security Security has been a major issue here in Nigeria and companies are trying to reduce the level of threats that they have. My drone has a camera that enables you to view threats and detect them a lot earlier than other conventional systems. With AI and the power of GPS on my drone, my drone can deliver packages from one point to another, most especially for hospitals and delivery companies. The first challenge I faced in building this drone is the problem of funding. Funding has always been difficult, especially as a student of the University of Nigeria and Suka. Secondly, I also faced the challenge of bringing in batteries into the country. It's quite difficult importing batteries into Nigeria. Also, the communities in software development and a lot of fields in society discover that communities help young people grow their talent and their skills but in hardware and in robotics there is not a very very big community most especially in my school university of nigeria to actually come together and work on some of these things i've learned a lot so far from building this drone i've learned how to persevere in things i've learned how to work under stress i've learned how to work for very long hours to try to pursue a goal so this drone has taught me a lot of things, That's most especially what the university couldn't teach me. So I think engaging in personal projects would help you to develop and sharpen your skills a lot better than what the current school system could help you to do. This is Mobile Journalism Africa, and our stories are best told by us.